Hey there y'all, time for another beer review. I uh, also got a new shirt, it says Columbia on it. Great snag. Got it from Ross for under 10 bucks. <laughs> uh, but I really do like orange and well it's almost October. Almost time for Halloween. Um, but uh, I did get some cool new stuff. Uh, this is a good beer review and uh, well I decided, you know, it's time for me to get a new glass. And I found this one over at Valley Village. It's a little strange, but I think it would work. It's called uh, Betty B's Bomber Bar. It's a um, typical, normal beer glass. Uh, I, thought, I thought the Hooters glass was getting a little old. Uh, it says, protecting your right to party. Uh, and I got this from Valley Village for 80 cents. And <laughs> you couldn't go wrong. Uh, the strange thing is they had a pitcher there. For three dollars, uh, shaped like a boot, and it was for like uh, Miller Light or Bud Light. I forget which one. Um, but I saw this one, I thought, oh, gotta get it. Um, and the beer I've chosen, me and my brother, we took a long time to pick this one out. It is Kieran Ichiban, and it is a special premium reserve beer. Very cool. Uh, the only strange thing about these beers, uh, even, they're not really, well, the name is Japanese and the company is Japanese, but, uh, the real company that makes these is, uh, Bush. Anheuser-Busch. Uh, and I think the reason why is because, well, they probably test marketed it from being imported from Japan, and I guess some people liked it, but, uh, they didn't like the price, so, uh, and we bought this one. Because it was considerably cheap. Uh, it was a little bit cheaper than the uh, other ones that were considered imported. They weren't really imported. They were made in Canada. So I guess technically, yes, they are imported. But yeah, we decided we'd go with this one instead of, the, uh, instead of some of the other ones like Sapporo. But, uh, well, and I thought, well, what could go good with beer? And my brother found these. I thought, shit, let's go, go with these. These are called uh, Mochi. Uh, they are Japanese style red bean uh, maki. Uh, it's pretty much, you know, they're just uh, a sweet bun, pretty much. Uh, they got powdered sugar on the outside, and they can they kind of taste like a donut. Uh, I remember the other ones that my brother tried to get me to eat; they were bigger, and they tasted like coffee and licorice. And well, I just wasn't really a big fan of them. But these, I suggest you get uh, if you can find them. They were about two bucks and some tax. Um, and they look like this. They come in this little cupcake uh, kind of wrapping. But they taste pretty darn good. Uh, I thought since I'm doing a Japanese beer, let's get some Japanese music. Uh, this is Maximum the Hormone. Nice and smoky. beautiful. <laughs> wow. That is so much head. Oh, wow. Bubbles are going up. Wow. Oh, man. I'm so glad I got this glass now. Oh. Kind of smells like Rolling Rock a little bit. It smells good. That's whoa. That's not you on your ass. It's kind of this type of beer. Uh, I haven't had this yet, but it's uh, it's fairly clear. It's a nice light golden or medium golden color. Um, I don't know the alcohol content, but uh, man, it smells and tastes really strong. I 
Mine's just like chinged out a little bit too. Mm. I like this glass. I'm glad I got it. I saw a course when it was gigantic and it was a buck, but ugh, it was huge. Mm. Oh man, that's just wonderful. Man, people go get this stuff. Even if it is made by uh, Bush. Um, it tastes wonderful. This thing tastes good too. They're kind of powdered, so be careful. Mm. It kind of tastes like a mixture of uh, jello and a marshmallow. Mm. Check the rest. Wow. Okay. This this stuff tastes so good. Um, like I said, considerably cheap for a uh, imported beer, oh, excuse me, a, a Japanese beer that's made in the United States, and uh, man, it is such a kick-ass looking label and stuff, and uh, I say give them a try, um, so if you like Japanese stuff, you know, I say go right for it, you know, uh, pick up some of these things too, like I said, they were about two bucks, got them from my little Asian store, but uh, we had wow. Damn, that tastes so good. Man, these things taste wonderful. Nice cap too. Very cool. I wish it was a twist off that one actually. But, uh, totally go for it, man. This is some heavy shit, people. So, 
I don't want to take up too much of y'all's time. <laughs> but uh, get that beer. Get this stuff. Uh, give it a try. Post the video response if you like it. Um, uh, can't think of anything much else. Uh, and I got me a new beer glass. I'm happy about that. Because I'm really concerned how good it works, actually. So maybe I might get another one in a couple of weeks. <laughs> Alright, see y'all next time.